Hi everyone, Tony from Act the Movies here. Lately, with Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and Werewolf by Night, and the upcoming Blade, Marvel is attempting to do horror, but they've actually done it before. Today we're going to talk about the forgotten Marvel horror film. Wow, I can't believe it. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking for some holiday gifts for all my co-hosts. And when it comes to pop culture presents, I always go to Zavi. Zavi is my favorite site to get pop culture goodies. They own the licenses for brands like Marvel, Pokemon, DC, Disney, Jurassic World, and more. They also ship worldwide from both their US and UK sites. I think I'll get this Home Alone Lego set for Jessica this little Mothra for Johanna, a man thing for mint salad, and of course, a figure of Xander's favorite Star Wars character, Tala. And for myself, I will be getting a Funko Pop of a Coca-Cola 90s polar bear. It'll be the ultimate Christmas gift. Click the link in the description and use code HACKMOVIES to get 10% off site-wide and 20% off clothing. Thanks, Zavi. Oh my God, it's mint salad. Hello, mint. Hello, I'm here again. That's pretty, I, I watched the movie this time. Just yes. So you know. Yes, Mint watches so many movies. All, all, all of You've them. You've been reviewing movies more than I have lately. Yes, every day. I do them daily. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we decided to watch a movie today. Uh, we were gonna do a different Marvel movie, but I didn't want to take down all the spooky stuff. So I'm like, where, what's a good compromise? And then I remembered a movie. now. Now, I'm, uh, we're not going to say what it is yet. I'm going to have I'm going to have you guys guess. And uh, the best way to guess is with this costume I have here. Maybe. I can't see what costume you're wearing. Hold on. Hold on. Mint, based off the costume, what character do you think uh, we're going to be talking about? Hold well, on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Mint, what character am I? I still can't see anything. I'm right here, see? I know I can I can only see a little bit of the orange shirt in your hands. <sighs> well, I was trying one bit and Mint is on her own bit. <laughs> You're supposed to say, Tony, you look like Man Thing. Tony, you look like Man Thing. We watched Man Thing. Wow. What is that? Well, uh, for years I've called it the uh the ripoff of Swamp Thing. Okay. But we did some research and we realized that Man Thing predates Swamp Thing by like two or three months. Uh, it was in a comic before Swamp Thing was. Okay. Uh, and I read, well, how accurate any of this is. I'm going to take this stupid thing off. Hold on. Ugh. I don't know how accurate this is, but apparently DC was going to pursue legal action or Marvel was going to pursue legal action vi or vice versa. Uh, but both characters are derivative of a character called the heap from the forties. Oh, that's so, not good. So they, they both kind of just ignored each other and we have swamp thing over here and man thing over here. I actually really like swamp thing. I haven't seen swamp thing. So. Yes. Uh, I like him in the comics. Uh, I liked the TV show growing up in the two movies. Wes Craven directed the first movie. Oh my God. Yeah. He directed the first swamp thing movie. Oh, wow. Um, and I like the TV show. Uh, the comics are fun. The old cartoon is fun. I was watching the new TV show. I never got to finish it, and it, like, never streams anymore. Oh. So I might just cave and buy it. But Man-Thing I was not too familiar with. Now, Mint, I assume you're a big Man-Thing fan. It's, like, oh, a favorite yeah. character. Yeah, you, he's you call, on you my call yourself a You call yourself a, a man a night Man-Thing-a-Knight? That, that's what you call yourself? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have him on my bedspread. Yeah. I have them on my walls covered entirely in man thing posters. Yes, yes. Uh Mint is going to do a whole photo shoot as man thing cuz she's the biggest man thing. Oh yeah. Fan. Um Big so fan. so tell me about the man thing comics. Um well, first of all, it starts with a man who's like, "Okay, I'm going to go into a swamp, right?" And there's a thing in there that I got to pursue. And then the swamp takes his soul and he becomes this weird monster thing and He's like, okay, I'm not very clever with names, so I'm gonna call myself Man Thing, because you know, it's a, it's a name, I guess. I was looking for a thing, and I'm a man. Of course, I gotta look for something. I'm gonna call myself Man Thing, and then now he just like eats people and like fights crime, but he's immune to fire, 
and immune to like all sorts of lightning power and like guns. Pa pow! He's immune to all of that stuff. And that that's from the comics? Yes, entirely. Wow. And you have volumes of the man thing. Oh comics. yeah, all over my wall. I'm a big man thing connoisseur. Ooh. Yes. And now the, I don't know when this episode comes out, but apparently he's in that new Werewolf by Night. I uh, haven't seen that. I got to watch it's that. It's not out yet. At the time of this recording, it's not out. By the time it airs, it's probably been out for a while. Uh, I was hearing rumors that man thing was going to be in it. So I assume when it comes out, you're going to review it. Oh, and yeah. you're going to share your thoughts on if it honor the man thing lore. I'll, I'll make sure to give it some good old paying attention to just to see if it really lives up to the man yes. thing brand. While we were watching it, someone tweeted me a picture of them holding their copy of man thing, asking us to review it. And I retweeted him being like, holy shit, we're watching it right now. Wow. I it's thought, like he read our brains. He did. Wow. He did. So I didn't know much about this movie. I knew it was based off the Marvel comics. I remember when it came out. Now, apparently okay. this was shot in like 2003. Oh. And it sat on a shelf for a few years. It looks and then like they, it was shot in 2003. <laughs> yeah. And they shot it out in 2005. On the Sci Fi Channel. This is oh. a Sci Fi Channel original movie. And I remember, because think about it, 2005, this is after Spider Man 1 and 2, a couple of the X Men movies, yeah. Hulk, Daredevil. Like, Marvel is like getting big at this point. The MCU's not here yet, but Marvel is getting big. So, like, a Marvel movie on TV, that was like kind of a big deal, but it was a character like, no one really cared about it, except for you. Except for me, obviously, if I saw this in 2005, it would have been like, oh my goodness. Even though I was like pretty young at the time, I still would have been a big man thing connoisseur. Well, maybe maybe you watched this and you didn't realize it and it, it, it imprinted on you. And that's yeah. why you became, when you found the man thing comics. It, it probably stuck to my autism. I was like, I got to focus autistically on this. <laughs> now this movie, it was directed by Brett Leonard, director of Lawnmower Man. Oh. Virtuosity. And then eventually he would direct Highlander the Source. Interesting. This this might shock you, <laughs> but it is the worst Highlander movie. I know you're thinking they're all pretty bad after that first one, but this one is the worst Highlander movie. So uh, they got the perfect guy for the job. Now, this movie takes place, I believe, in Louisiana. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, somewhere down south. They got them good old boys. Not in Australia. <laughs> no, it is shot all <laughs> in Australia. And the actors are struggling to maintain a southern accent. Oh, they, they sound a little bit like this. Just a little bit. Is he like a little bit of the RC? He got a little yeah. bit of the Southern. They're like, we're gonna give him some Southern hospitality, crikey! <laughs> yeah, they say crikey. I don't know why they say crikey so <laughs> oh, <no>. much. <sighs> Who the hell are you? I'm the new sheriff, man. Well, have a taste of country hospitality, sheriff. So yeah, the movie starts. We we hear some narration from a character about how there's a company that's polluting the swamp. Oh. The schist company. I don't know what that means. The what, schist? What does schist mean? Wait, no, that's communist. I just realized their logo is like two hammers. Oh, yeah, they're like a the communist party. Well, that would be communist, but schist, like, that sounds more like fascist. I uh, Maybe. That might be the derivative. Well, they, they're they oil people, uh, and they're pumping oil in the swamp. Oh. Yes. Uh, and we hear a narration that like uh, the swamp spirits are upset by this. Okay. And we see the birth of the man thing. Uh, uh, we don't see the birth. We, we, just... we see like something coming out of the ground and yeah, forming. But we don't see man thing yet. We Not don't at see this him point. outright. We, That's we, true. We do see him though. Yeah. Uh, then it cuts to uh, teens in the woods. Oh yes. This is my favorite opening scene part yeah they're partying and these two are like hooking up pretty hard and it's like hey guys where should we go fool around and they're like well obviously i gotta get in a tiny boat <laughs> in the swamp full of parasites and mosquitoes i and wouldn't if i i just don't understand this these teenagers logic are they teenagers i 
it feels like they're teenagers. Uh, I'm gonna say they're 18 plus because you see the woman's uh, large breasts. Yes. Yeah, so whatever version is on Tubi is, I guess, the intended theatrical version they the had planned. Correct version. I highly doubt the Sci-Fi Channel was showing titties mm. on uh, basic cable. I don't think so. Either. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. And you also get some man buns in this. I didn't notice the man you, bun. Oh, yeah. Get, no, no, no. The you bubble get the guy's butt. butt. Oh, the bubble butt. Not man bun. I'm man buns. Oh, okay. I get Buns it is a word for butt. I knew that now. It took okay. me a second. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't you refer it to it as the bubble butt? He has a bubble butt. I didn't, I didn't seem like he had a bubble. I just no, saw he does. A butt. I just saw. I didn't examine the butt. Why I just not? Saw a butt. You gotta when you when you have a chance to look at some man butt. You gotta really examine the butt, <laughs> like the butt of the boat that were they were on. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, butt guy dies. Yes. Uh, and it's pretty brutal. You get to see some blood on some titties. Though. Yes, the blood gets sprayed all over the girl. He gets like a branch shoved through him. It's pretty rough. Uh, but the next day, a new sheriff is in town. Literally, not the expression. There is literally a new sheriff coming to town. Sheriff Kyle. Oh, that's his name. That is his okay. name. Sheriff Kyle. And now he's, he's entering the town of Bywater. Why is it called Bywater, Mint? Because the water is attracted to both genders. Well, the joke in the movie is that it's a town by the water. <laughs> uh oh. Why do they call it by water? Because it's by the water. That makes sense, too. I mean. Well, your version doesn't make sense because it's not spelled that way. Well, if it's if spelled D-Y really, water. If you want to get real creative, it could be. So he's the new sheriff in town, and here's he's here to replace the current sheriff who I believe has gone missing. Yeah. Yeah. And there is yeah. a bunch of missing persons. They have a whole wall full of missing persons in this office. Oh yeah. And then in this office, we we get some information. We see a picture of a guy named Renee. Who is a troublemaker who's who's fled from the wall and he, he lives in the swamp possibly. He's a hooligan. Yes, and then on top of the wall of the sheriff's office, there's just gator skin. And in the uh corner of the office, mint. There was he is a, a there was a Confederate flag. He also has a Hawaiian shirt on. No, that's a different guy. It's a different guy. That's the coroner. Oh. I'm talking about the sheriff's office. There uh, there is a uh there's a Confederate flag. Yeah. There's a and, lot. <laughs> and the deputy's like, you want to like clear all this out? And the guy goes, no, leave it. He wants to, he wants to leave all the stuff in the office, including the Confederate flag. I don't trust the sheriff. I don't trust the sheriff, man. I mean, okay. It, have you ever been to the South, Tony? Yes. Uh, I currently live in the South where there's a lot of Confederate flags everywhere. This is very accurate, by do the you, way. Do you go around telling people to take it down? You go, take that down. Every time I see a Confederate flag, I'm like, Hey, take that down now. Yes. And then they take it down because they're so intimidated by me. You're like you're like the young kids in the new Texas Chainsaw movie. I haven't seen that movie, but yes. That is a plot point, them telling an old lady to take down her flag. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he's there to replace the missing sheriff. He knows there's a lot of missing persons. Uh, they go to the coroner's office and they examine Butt Boy's body. Oh, yeah. And he's like all ripped up. He doesn't he, have a butt. He's got like seaweed on him and whatnot. And he's just like, what did this? And the coroner's like, gator, obviously. Yeah, these are obviously gator marks, but it's like the bite marks are just sort of like weird marks. There are no bite marks like of any teeth of any kind. They're yeah, there really like, were no. They were like slices and chunks missing, yeah, but no bites or teeth. I wouldn't consider it a gator. I mean, like just like one look at it. And it's like, oh, this must be some weird creature monster. But of course, I'm not going to trust the guy who's wearing a Hawaiian shirt to tell me what it is. But he, he just wants to touch dead bodies. Like, <laughs> that's his job. Of course, he's like, oh, oh gator. Uh, and then, I don't, like, think he, I don't think he wants to touch why? them. Well, he's this paid his job. to examine the dead bodies, and he has to touch them. I don't think he 
wants to. Why? Okay, why, if he didn't want to, why would he have that as a job in the first place? A lot of people have jobs that they don't want to do, but they they're They kind good at of it. want to do the job if they're in the job. Just a, just a little tiny part I of them. I used to uh, drive a truck for a shady municipal supply company that I think was ripping off uh, retirement homes. Man, I did not want to do that job. Then why did you stay in the I job? I was really broke. I did not stay in it long. I eventually okay. got the fuck out of there. Well, okay. The truck that instance. they were having me drive, like, like the pipe, like, like one of the pipes were broken, so gas would leak out of oh, it. Oh, that's not. Safe. I I told him like, dude, I'm not driving this anymore. And then they would never like. I I had to like meet the guy in a parking lot of a restaurant to get paid by him. That's weird yeah i got out of that job yeah that, okay that job was rough you, that's still instance you didn't want to do that job you did that job anyway but you yeah. stayed there for a very short amount of time yeah so like it, even if you don't want to do the job you're not going to stay there forever we don't know how long this I guy, I, guy I, he wants here. to be a coroner and examine bodies I, I had an issue with you being like he wants to touch the bodies <laughs> i don't think that's on the list <laughs> at the top of his thing <laughs> anyway <laughs> Anyway, uh, Sheriff Kyle has to go meet the businessman, Mr. Schist. Uh, when he gets to the uh, the oil refinery or whatever, uh, we see a bunch of hippies, town people, hippies oh, yeah. chained to the tractors, the bulldozers or whatever. And this reminded me of the film Carnosaur. I have seen? not seen that film. Oh, Carnosaur is good. Uh, I have a commentary for, track for it on Patreon with my good friend Clayton Fiorini. And we also reviewed the second and third movie on Patreon. Uh, but there's a scene where like the hippies are like tied up to um, the tractor and then a dinosaur comes and eats them because they can't get away because they're oh. chained up. Oh, that's funny. That should have yeah. happened in this movie. But yes, instead, but... we just got a bunch of lame cops trying to disperse him. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Rachel Taylor, an er her, Rachel Taylor's first movie role. Oh. She would end up being in the Transformers, the first Transformers movie, a bunch of TV shows. Uh, most recently, Jessica Jones. I know a lot of people like that show. Okay. She was uh, Jessica Jones's like friend, adopted sister, her lady. Uh, she is trying a Southern American accent. Oh yeah, it's it's just like Please. it's so good. She's like the best at it. Like no Aussie at all. Like, whenever she talks... Really? It worked for you? Yeah, she's, like, super convincing. Like, th yeah, this is what the this is what Southern people in... Uh, Southern Americans... That's the different... S uh, people in the South sound like. This is what they sound like. This is what she sounds like in the movie. <laughs> uh, she she does not sound Southern. Please play a <laughs> clip of her, her Australian accent just seeping out. Well, I think standing up for your principles sets a good example. So, yes, I do. She kicked Sheriff Kyle in the dick and the balls. That's assault. That's assault. She should be going to jail for that. Well, he's about to take her. He picks her up. He carries her away. Good, and he, good. He meets, he meets uh, Mr. Schist, the, the daddy Schist. There's their son Schist and then daddy Schist. Oh. Uh, and he's all like, these guys suck. I bought this land fair and square from this tribal guy who happened to go missing. So it's my land. He's like, I don't care about them. He does not respect the Native American people. No, it's he's bad. Ba he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Terry is sad because she loves the swamp. Uh, as she, you do. And she respects the Native people because she grew up with the one older guy. Yeah. Uh, which we are about to find out. And she's like, I want to drain that swamp. Is she very successful? No, no, it? she doesn't want to drain the swamp. Oh. She doesn't want to drain the swamp. She's like, that swamp's important. And they're like... They're pillaging it and they're going to drain that swamp. I know someone. Let's give her a fake name so no one knows who she is. Uh, Sh Shmohanna. Uh, she was very for draining swamps, so she wouldn't agree with Terry at all. Oh. Uh, it could she be doesn't like environmentalism. I think she was thinking of a different swamp. Oh, but anyway. okay. Uh, so the local diner also has Confederate flags. Wow. That's. Wow. That's yeah. Bad. That means since this was shot in Australia, someone in Australia has these Confederate flags. And I'm not saying <laughs> actress Rachel Taylor kept one of the Confederate flags, but I don't know that that didn't happen. So you think she you think she just goes around telling people she was in man thing? 
I don't think so. I haven't really heard of anybody who says man things their favorite, except for that one Twitter person that you were interacting well, with. Well, and you, because you love man thing. Oh, yeah. Well, other than me, of course. Yes. I'm, I'm obviously a man thing connoisseur. Mm -hmm. So whenever I say I haven't heard of anybody else, I'm excluding myself because it's very obvious that I'm yeah. into man thing. And look, I'm not saying mint salad has a man thing tattoo on a risque part of her body but there are links that you can go to to <laughs> sign up for and to check that out exactly but I, i'm not saying that exists but if you wanted to find out there were places you can go but we can't talk about them on youtube anyway um where am i out of here uh yeah so at the diner the older native american guy uh gives them like a creepy psychic message it is weird, like the all the lights come off, and then like he gives them a like goes to the sheriff and be like, "Stay out of my swamp." <laughs> I think he said something else. Like, <laughs> and then dumps a bunch swamp. of salt on his counter. Uh, yeah, then, but he's like making a symbol out of the salt. Why? Because he makes symbols to s speak to the swamp spirits. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, and we also get introduced to the creepy brothers. Oh, do you, I don't. Do you like remember them. their names? It was like Tip and Doe or something. They they uh, they say their name really uh, slow. Tic Tac and Toe, that's their names. I would know because that's their names in the comics for sure. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but they're like being really creepy with the sheriff, like unnecessarily creepy. They're very aggressive. I don't understand why they're they got to be so <laughs> aggressive, especially towards a police officer. I mean. Why? You're just you're just going to be like a target. You're going to be noticed by the sheriff, and then he's going to arrest you eventually after you try to assault him. Because that's mm -hmm. creepy guys like that are just going to try to assault the yeah. cops. He like touches the cop's badge. That's assault. Yeah. That's simple assault, but that's still assault. And the cop is like, the sheriff is actually being nice about it. He's like, could you not touch me, please? Yeah. He could have like arrested you. <sighs> but he God, didn't. That guy was so weird. Man, the sheriff is so nice. Yeah. Uh, Kyle visits Boob Girl. Oh, yeah. At the hospital. And she goes from being catatonic like Michael Myers <laughs> to psychotic like Michael Myers. Oh, is this is she Michael Myers? Michael Myers confirmed? <laughs> I think she is. I think oh, she is. Boy. Do you see my autograph of one of the Michael Myers actors? Did Mike? Michael Myers, like the person himself, signed that or? Yes, the oh. one from Halloween 2, Dick Warlock. Oh, that's a fun name. He signed that, and then, oh, I left it over there. And then two other actors signed my DVD. You know where you can hear more about Halloween 2? Where? In our best Halloween 2 episode I did with Movie Dumpster. We talk about all three movies that wow. are considered a Halloween 2. I'm going to have to check those out. You're going to have to. You have to go check them out before I do. Yes, yes. They've been out They've been out for a while, exactly. so you better go back and check them out. Anyway. Do it. Uh, yeah, Boob Girl like, is freaking out. Her, she is forever scarred emotionally by the man thing, which I, which I was told was a superhero. Yeah. I mean, why would she be scarred? Man Thing is clearly the best. I mean, if the woods came alive and murdered someone in front of you. She was just stunned by how amazing Man Thing is because she saw the true beauty of Man Thing and right in front of her. So she's like Gallic from Alien 3 when he becomes obsessed with the alien after it kills his friends. Uh, sure. Yeah, that. Wait, I are seen you not alien familiar with Alien 3 even no. though I have... Four separate videos on the topic. Uh, you're correct about that. You were in the one Alien Three. Re you didn't survive. I'm glad you got better. We were in the one Alien Three review. I mean, I got murdered. How else would I watch it if I was dead? <sighs> That's true. Well, now that you're alive, resurrected, much like Ripley, uh, you should you should go check that out. Oh yeah, I should. You you died and you merged with the swamp and you came I'm, back. I'm actually Spoilers. part of the swamp thing, like <laughs> myself. So the schist the schist's equipment is all damaged. Someone went to the place and like destroyed a bunch of their equipment. Oh, that's bad. And uh, the friggin' uh, the, the one security guard is blaming the brave people of color. And then uh, Kyle calls him out for being racist. He's like, I don't like racist, buddy. That's rightfully so. I'm glad he calls him out. Yeah, did you say rightfully so? Rightfully so. so. I'm like, I don't think he had a rifle. I thought he had a shotgun. <laughs> I could be wrong. 
Ma- I could be wrong. I think he did have a bunch he of shit. He called out racism, much like you call out racism. Yes. You see those Confederate flags everywhere. I'm like, hey, put a stop to that. But like a better use of his an- uh, his anti racism would be just take all those Confederate flags that he sees and then rip them off the wall. It's like, whoo. Yes, because the security guards also have them. Yes. But yeah, Mint goes around ripping Confederate flags, and then sometimes people are like, man, this is a museum. You cannot do that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. It doesn't matter. No. Man, this is an educational uh, museum. I'm going to educate you on the thing. I mean, the swamp <laughs> man, man thing. thing. <laughs> what is the name? Man, man thing. thing who is from the swamp, not to be confused with Swamp Thing, who Correct. used to be a man. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sheriff sees something. He thinks it's the man thing. But I think it turns out to be that guy, Renee, who gives him like a cryptic warning about oh, I don't stuff, like him. that stuff's going on in the swamp. But the actual man thing is luring out one of the security guards into the swamp. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he. By the way, I like he hears sounds <laughs> in the woods and just starts unloading his gun into the woods. That's okay. We're in an ammo shortage. Uh, it's spe- even though it's 2003, I don't yeah. know. Uh, but still, you're wasting a bunch of ammo. Come on. Yeah. You're just gonna hear a sound and start unloading. It could be another person out there. You could have like murdered him. It did murder him. And then he turned into. Man thing. Uh, no, no. So, yeah, the security guard, he gets eaten. Uh, his body gets thrown onto Kyle's car. And he's like, yeah. all his limbs are gone. And his face is, like, ripped off. What's what's his affinity towards limbs? Like, what's the... Is it juicy? Like uh, That's his thing. He likes ripping the limbs off. I don't know why. Does he just eat it? Huh? Does he eat the limbs? Possibly. No, because he kind of leaves them floating around. But anyway, what is he? Why is he murdering then? Like other than for food? Because he's mad that they're in his swamp. That shouldn't be the only reason. Well, <laughs> old security guard, he he hears the swamp, the man thing. I almost did it too. <laughs> I almost did it too. Uh, and he shoots like a hole through the door, and it's actually a pretty suspenseful scene. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And then I guess man thing has just like an air cannon. And he blows the front of this. Like, nothing goes through the wall. It's definitely air. Like, a force of air blows up the wall. And our theory is, like, was there supposed to be, like, a CGI thing there? And they were like, eh, that's too expensive. I I like, uh, in the comics, see, he has some special air powers, even though he's part tree, mm-hmm. uh, that he can extend his tree limbs and they go invisible. And because of that invisibility, he can push through doors at like a really high force. Mm-hmm. And because of that, like this is what was actually displayed in the movie, rather. This is very comic accurate. Very I'm comic te- accurate. I'm telling you, very comic accurate. And I'm just, he's just like, he is, it's pretty rad just seeing all the invisibility in the scene. He's so invisible. And then he also. Also, being invisible leaves trails of seaweed, I guess. Yeah, on the there's door. a bunch of seaweed and whatnot. Well, well, yeah. let me get to that. Uh, the next day, Kyle is going to the oil place, the schist oil yes. place, to investigate the murder. Uh, and everything is yellow. And I have here Vince Gilligan liked this yellow filter so much, he stole it for Breaking Bad every time <laughs> they go to Mexico. You ever watch Breaking Bad? I've seen all five seasons of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was good. Breaking yes. Bad. Did you watch Better Call Saul? I watched one season of Better Same. Call Saul. I only watched one season. I liked it. I did too. But like I was getting like real busy and I just never got I never got around to finishing it. Me too. I even if it was slow for the first season, I still enjoyed the pace. But, you know, yeah. my dad liked it and he didn't even watch Breaking Bad. Oh, he just jumped right into Better Call Saul. He's like, cool. That's uh, that means it's a good show. <laughs> uh, but yes, here is where the coroner reveals. He's like, there's been a lot. I've, I've been getting a lot of these bodies and I've been seeing a lot of swamp stuff. Swamp stuff growing inside. I'm coming out from inside. You understand? 
He, does, he says swamp stuff. Is it like goo? He can't say swamp things. Um, yeah. But he basically tells him, he's like, I've been paying off the, I've been paid off to say that these are all gator attacks. Oh. But well, these are not gator attacks. By the way, the guy that they find, the old man, he is shoved into the wall and he's got like a tree, like, like branch coming out of his mouth. Yeah, that's a gator. Yeah, and they were like, did he get shoved into his mouth? And he's like, no, it's growing out of his mouth. And it's actually pretty brutal. Is he like, does he have like a seed that was planted into him and then it like grew overnight? I think overnight? he could just grow stuff. Okay. And it's like yeah. not even connected to his body at all? I think he could just break it off and grow. Oh. Um, but yeah, th this movie, like the bodies are pretty rough. And I'm like, I'm surprised they put this on basic cable. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's a little gruesome. Yeah, it's really gruesome. So <laughs> that, was a, that was a shocker there. Yeah. Then the schist comes up and he's like, stop talking. Stop telling them all the bad stuff you're doing, coroner. Go back to wearing your Hawaiian shirts and blaming things on gators. What do you think you think he blames on gators? Like a uh, guy comes in with like bullet, bullets, riddled with bullets. And he's like, that's a gator yeah. if I ever saw one. I mean, a gator with a gun that's common in... Uh, not Louisiana, but definitely Florida. Gators have guns? Gators have guns. They have oh, opposable shit. thumbs, and they can shoot machine guns, and they go blast them. In Where the do air. they get the guns? Uh, in the swamp, of course. Swamp guns. Uh, they just kind of grow in the swamp. So the guns grow. Yes. And they're able to shoot. Yes. And the gators in Florida know how to use these guns. Yes, because it, it's naturally occurring. Therefore, they're able to learn how to grow, how to use these guns. It, it's natural guns for gators specifically. That's why he can blame all of these weird things on gators because gators do these things already. Okay. So what if a guy like came into the coroner's office with like an ax embedded in his head? It's a gator. How'd the gator do that? Uh, okay, clearly the gator, there was an ax flying towards it by another gator who threw the axe towards him and the gator repelled that axe with his tail and that ta uh, tail whack sent the axe flying into a guy's forehead clearly that's what happened okay what if like someone came in and was like oh no my child uh drank a thing of rat poison on accident it was the gator. The gator? Yeah, the gator fed it. Uh, it switched out <laughs> as a, the child's bowl of water that's being fed to and put some rat poison in it. Because, you know, everyone knows that gators naturally can grow their own rat poison. Mm -hmm. it, it's in, like, their glands underneath their jaw, and you can, like, pick it out. Or they can squirt it out of their mouth and... Because of this, they squirt the rat poison into the child's drinking bowl of water. Oh. And the child is like, I'm going to lap this up like a dog. Lick, lick, lick. And then he licks it up and gets rat poisoned. That's how it works. Say the coroner is uh, a, uh, overseas uh, joining Doctors Without Borders, I guess. And yeah. uh, uh, the Amer the, the, there's a drone strike and they accidentally strike like a, uh, a hospital of children and the government's like, Hey, we, we can't have any more bad press. Can, can you figure out like a, like a cover story for our mess up? What's this cover story? All right. So gators. So <laughs> let's say the gators are in, I don't know, Pakistan. Keep going. Okay. Gators. Uh, so they're gators are hyper intelligent Yeah, and they, run the control panels to bomb everything, mm -hmm. and a gator accidentally stepped on a bomb panel. But you have to have two gators. So this wasn't an accident. So two gators accidentally, accidentally stepped on the bomb control panel. And of course, there's also a gator on the bombs. It's, and so the gators just kind of like have the bombs go anywhere. They're, it's just like random locations because gators are smart enough to use bombs, but they are not smart enough to figure out where to place the bombs. So right. the bombs just kind of go anywhere, right. like within a near near radius. Okay. Yes. Fun fact. Did you guys know on Mint Salad's first appearance, people complained that she didn't talk enough. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to this. Let's get back to man thing. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, so yes, uh, the sheriff goes to question the creepy brothers. Yeah. And if I was being like questioned by the police, I try to play ball a little bit. But no, the one brother comes out with the chainsaw still <laughs> revving, while the other one is cooking gator skulls in like a like a vat. Oh, and then like the other brother or whatever, he just like is behind the sheriff. And if I were the sheriff, I would be terrified because mm. the guy might be able to uh, jab me yeah. with a knife or something. He could. Yeah. But yeah, he's he's all like, you guys got to stop being creepy. And I know you're working for that bad guy because one of your brothers works for the bad guy. Exactly. And they're like, get out of here, sheriff. We're creepy. <laughs> uh, and then later that night, the brothers are shitting in the woods. Oh. Now this scene was confused. So the one goes to shit and there's this big tree behind him. And it looks like it has a hand. And I'm like, oh, that must be man thing. Yes. And we were waiting for it to like get up. And move. I mean, why would he? He's getting fertilized. He's getting fertilized. He's getting nutrients. He's getting nice, fun soil into his trunks or whatever it is. He's getting all those the nitrogen from the, his brother. It's he's a nice okay transfer. Being, he's okay being shit on then. Yes, but it's not until. He slips and falls into his own shit. Yeah, he does. When he's like, "Uh oh, I might, I might be. Uh, there's something creepy out here. I have to go out into my boat again." Yeah, the point is, they clearly <laughs> built like this big statue of man thing, and we thought it was gonna get up and move, and it never does. We were. That was a red herring. No, a green herring. Yeah, a green herring. That's the. Uh, yes. <laughs> Man thing stalks the brothers. Yes. Uh, and the one brother, he like fucking shoves a tentacle up his butt. Oh, yeah, that must be painful. His in intestines more yeah. like intest out because yeah, it, yeah, it comes out of his mouth and it's implied it like stabs him. Ugh, that's uh, it was so pretty gruesome. brutal. Like Man Thing is pretty brutal. I actually like these scenes a little bit. These scenes are actually kind of fun with Man Thing. Why do you think them. I like Man Thing so much? He's so brutal and gruesome. That's true. That's true. Uh, so yeah, the one brother finds his dead brother, and like by the time he finds him, a whole tree has just grown out of the guy. He's like fused with him, and so this made me think he's like a, a Venus flytrap kind of thing, where he has to like fuse with his his prey in order to gain the nutrients, mm -hmm. as well as being shit on by his prey. I don't think prey. they fuse with the prey; they just dissolve the prey. I had well, Venus flytraps. I mean, they have to like. Well, this tr this tree specifically does fuse with it so it's like kind of like a dissolving thing it like i guess so it like encapsulates his entire body and so it's so just going to be like more and more like part tree part whatever until yes. it's mostly tree and then yeah. all tree by the way there was a lot of creepy imagery and stuff like this in the episodes i did watch of the new swamp thing so this is this this now that i've seen this i really want to watch the new swamp thing because I remember the first episode, there was like a plant corpse thing that came to life and it looked like the thing from the movie, the thing, just hmm. more plant like. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, this movie has really good practical effects. Yes, I agree. Uh, really. And the, to be fair, a little, the little bit of CGI they use is actually pretty decent. I, I couldn't really tell. So yeah, like a lot of the tentacles are CGI, but okay. it actually works pretty well because it's dark. It's used sparingly. Yes. A lot of these direct to video monster movies, they get a little... They get a little carried away and they want to show their monster way too much. So it was nice, especially around this time. There was a lot of shitty sci-fi channel movies. This one had a lot of restraint, which I really appreciate. Yeah, I really enjoy not seeing the monster as much because I feel it's creepier. Yeah. To not show the monster as much because it's like, oh, what is this unknown force? Yes. And uh, of course, the other brother gets eaten, I assume. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sheriff Kyle gets caught in one of Renee's traps. Oh, no. And Renee reveals, he's like, hey, that guy, Ted, that we all knew, he never sold the land. And he didn't run away. Basically saying, like, hey, that guy got murdered. And he's missing. And then this company came and just built a bunch of stuff on his land wrongfully. Uh, even though they claim that they bought it legally. 
I mean, I guess it, olden times bot is just stealing someone's land. And well, this is recent. Guns. This is an olden times. This they might be using olden time rules. Who cares if it's recent? Because the, the thing is like, oh, yeah, we paid the guy and then he skipped town. It's like, <laughs> well, no one's really confirmed that really. Or denied it. <laughs> or denied it. Okay. So as he's pursuing Renee, uh, the deputy, the poor deputy gets caught by man thing. Oh. And then just eviscerate it. It is it's so brutal. He like rips all again, he rips all his limbs off. And again, that was CGI, but they put it really far away and they made it like the guy is like getting knocked out, so it's a little blurry. And I'm like, wow, again, really good restraint. Also, it's like why why do you want to rip limbs off? It's it's just... I don't know. And I, I like we were thinking, like, we're like, wait, this man thing, I guess, is an anti-hero because he's only killing bad guys like well the deputy didn't do anything wrong and the guy getting laid in the beginning didn't do anything wrong well, no he did do something wrong he was having premarital sex which you're not allowed to have right right mint is very conservative oh yeah i'm very conservative he's very conservative she has old-fashioned values she's she <laughs> she says that she wants to be a trad wife one day yeah that's your goal and um <laughs> Mint is a virgin. I am a born again virgin, so we're You're both virgins. How, how are you born again virgin? I decided that, uh, you know, I, I repent it. You, you stole your V card back. I, 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 I asked for forgiveness from the Lord. Oh, and, and then they, he gave you your V card back. Yes, and okay. conveniently it was after my last relationship end. Not, don't have anything to do with each other. Conveniently after la last relationship ended, I was like, you know what? I think I'm a born again virgin. <laughs> I think I'm I'm gonna be celibate now. All right. I do, that was just a coincidence. Good job on you, Tony. It, it's not because I can't get a date, no matter how hard I try. It's because I chose this mint. You're you're a voluntary celibate. Uh, yes. A vol cell. I they I call think it. that's just called celibate. I don't know. I think it's just called voluntary celibate. celibate. Yes, cell. and you're you're a good Christian girl, and we will yes. be in the kingdom of heaven uh, forever. Yes. When we die. Yes, we will. Yes. And I'll make sure that uh, Man Thing is there. He's going to give us a lot of hugs. No, Man Thing uh, belongs to a different religion. He is not welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. But anyway. Why? Uh, we got to get back to this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the, there's been this asshole photographer in the movie. <laughs> I think he might be played by the director. One of these characters is played by the director. But he was like, he was being creepy to the sheriff before the brothers were Why earlier. Why is everyone being creepy to the sheriff? I don't know. Just leave the guy alone. Yeah, you don't need to antagonize don't him. Don't talk to cops. I don't even talk to the cops I'm related to. Good. I, I go to <laughs> I go to visit my nieces and their dad's like, hey, Tony. I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> you don't exist to me. My dad's like, hey, Tony, how you doing? I'm like, nah, la, 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 la. Did you start doing that recently? Yes. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so he tracks down the photographer, and the photographer says he's been like following this monster for for a while. Mm. And he's like, "Look at the picture. There it is." He's oh, like, it's "What like is it?" And super blurry. It's like yeah. Bigfoot. It's like Bigfoot. <laughs> but he's like, "Look, there's the picture of him." And he goes, "What is it?" And he goes, "It's the man thing, man." That's a man. Oh yeah, that's a man, all right, huh? It's the man thing, man. Whoa, oh, that was a pretty rad line. They said the name. They said man thing. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, t uh, Terry's still in this movie. Rachel Taylor's character. You kind of forget she's in the movie. Just a little. <laughs> you really forget that she's in the movie. Um, the, she takes Kyle to meet with the old man, mm -hmm. and he has cars on fire all over his property. Does not at all mention why he has cars on fire. It's just like casually there. You yeah. Know? It just, it just, Does he light the fire? It's normal. Cars on fire, normal. Yeah. No explosion, not normal, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But he tells him about their missing friend, Ted. Yes, uh, and he also goes. Uh, the 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 spirit is from the dark water in the swamp, and the dark water and the spirit protects. Was that man thing? Man, I think the man things come into our swamp. Well, I think they're gone now. Uh, yeah, so he's like the dark water's there, and the 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 spirit protects the nexus of all realities. 
So now we got interdimensional stuff being teased here. Oh man, it's like just exactly in the comics where Man Thing goes into space and he doesn't even need a spacesuit. No, oh, obviously he makes his own oxygen. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so the old guy speaks in riddles. Maybe he's in the swamp. Maybe the swamp is in him. But it's just obvious. He's basically saying like Ted died and now he's the Man Thing. Oh. Which is a lot like Swamp Thing, depending on the version of Swamp Thing. Because originally it was Alec Holland died, uh, people killed him, and then his experiments, as he fell into the swamp, the formula turned him into the Swamp Thing. Mm. But then it was revealed in the Alan Moore run of Swamp Thing that that's not the case. That Swamp Thing is just sentient plant life that in it absorbed Alec Holland and gained all his memories. Hmm. And then Swamp Thing feels very conflicted about his like, his like humanity. He's just like, wait, so I'm not a person. I'm not Alec, but I have all those memories. And then at some point he dissolves and becomes one with the earth and then reforms. That's actually really interesting. Interesting. But before, Man Thing doesn't do that. Man Thing doesn't do that. But before that in Swamp Thing, it was just like, I'm the Swamp Thing monster. I'm going to stop that guy making mutants. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a hint of Swamp Thing. I don't know if that's what the new TV show led to. I know Alec Holland's in and whatnot. But anyway, was it Alec Holland? Sure. Alec Holland is either the name of Swamp Thing or the actor who played him in the movie and TV show. I might be mixing it up right now. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure Alec Holland is the name of Swamp Thing. The sheriff is like mad at the old man. Yeah. He's like, stop speaking in riddles. Just be straight. He's like, stop talking about monsters. I'm out of here. And then Rachel's like, hey, crikey. Fosters, it's Australian <laughs> for beer. Uh, she's like, stop being mean to my friend. I'm from Nolens. Actually, uh, particularly, I think it was the Gators that made him mean. Yes, and then they make out. Like a disappointing makeout for like a second. Because then the bad guy is rolling into the, the place Man, with the sun. Man, what a bunch of uh, cock blockers, as but people that, might But that's call a them. good thing. As celibates, that we appreciate that. Yes. They were not married. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they don't make know. out for like a second, but then the schist shows up. Uh, and he's doing the whole like evil businessman trope where he's like, this town was nothing before me. I made this town. That's and such of course, a big ego. And of course, we talked about that recently in the rundown. And of course, that was the bad guy's whole uh, persona in the greatest film ever made, which is. Uh, 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 Shrek. No. Shrek 2. No. Roadhouse starring Patrick Swayze. Shrek 3. Ben, <laughs> ben Gazzara plays Brad Wesley, the bad guy. And his whole thing is like, I made this town. JC Penny's coming here because of me. Uh, so I like that trope with the guy who's like, I'm a piece of shit, but the the place, everything's here because of me. It's like, yeah, but you're a piece of shit. All right. <laughs> um, you don't have to like point it out to everyone. Jeez, guy. <laughs> I'm a little confused here. And maybe you're more observant when it comes to films. Obviously, yes. you review way more films than I yes. do on a regular basis. Uh, Daily. So, so the old man goes into the swamp. What is he doing? He's like sacrificing himself to stop man thing. Yes, that's what I thought it was. Uh, obviously, because the oil rigger, all the oil rigs is is on the property in order to stop the murder death killing from happening some more he's like okay come here uh i'm going to sacrifice myself to you he has like singing not singing but he's like shaking this yeah. instrument and he's like walking towards the man thing and it doesn't stop more murders from happening i think this is the first time we see like man thing clearly yes and he looks pretty cool yeah, he's pretty rad. I'm like uh, terrified of him. I like that his eyes are like bugs that it's are like, like glowing. A bunch of little red dots. Yeah. It, <sighs> I feel like maybe at the end they show it a little bit, but he doesn't have his like signature like trunks that hang on the side of his face and then down his nose. That would have been cool. But that would have been cool. As a man cool thing compromise. fan, that's his signature trait. And you as a man thing fan should have uh, pro like pushed for that. I, I also 
wanted more of that. I I appreciate the film for mm -hmm. having like a a more limited version of that in order to like distinct have a, like a more distinct feeling between the comics and the film. However, it would have been a cool homage for homage. the homage for the trunks to be on his face. Yes, because that would have been cool. Yes. Yes. Uh, so the old man sacrifices himself. Yes. I don't think it works. No, this man it thing's like, yeah, whatever. I have a, th I have a lust for blood. I have, I have a to lust for blood. <laughs> I have lust for oil too. Um, I do like uh, Schist uh, kills the photographer on accident. Damn, if you take my picture, asshole. The photographer's like, ah, oh, man thing, my dog, I gotta chase man thing. And he's like taking pictures and Schist is like, what's that? And he just shoots him. <laughs> This uh, is why you don't, you got you got to really look where you're shooting. Yeah. That's this is a very important lesson on gun safety. Yeah. Yes. Um yeah, and also by the way, Terry's now in the swamp. She's just there. Is he is, is Terry tearing down the swamp? I'm trying to make a pun there, tearing down the swamp. It, that was a great pun. It was awesome. That's how puns work. Yeah. Uh yeah, so she's like, "Kyle, I'm gonna take you to the dark water. The dark water. Which reminds me of that cartoon. What was it uh, Legends of the Pirates of the Dark Water? That you were, one. You were not born when that cartoon was relevant. No, it um, wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was the name of it. Uh, that was a good cartoon, from what I remember. Uh, so they go into the dark water, which is like this super dark part of the swamp. But I guess at some point there's light because they put an oil rig there. Um, I thought the dark water was past the oil rig. I thought the dark water just referred to no sunlight on that water. Well, they go through the dark water to the pump. Oh, oh so it's light water, then dark water, then light water again? Maybe. And by the way, uh, man thing. I got to take this off. Sorry. <laughs> it's just so Oh, I can hot. see you again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a floating head anymore. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like, I can't ignore it anymore. I got to take it off. Uh, Man thing looks pretty good, but there are a couple awkward shots where it's clearly him on stilts and his fingers are like comically big and he wiggles them. It's fun. Those I like don't it. look as good. I like the fingers. The other stuff looks good with man thing, but yes. him just kind of standing awkwardly and wiggling his fingers. Not the best. Honestly, I think that's the best part because you that's how you know he's a man. And not just the thing. Because he wiggles the fingers. Yeah. You're right. As a man, I sit around every day and they're like, he's hey, like, what's up, Tony? And I'm like, hey. Wiggle, that, that's how you affirm your masculinity is by you wiggle your fingers every oh, day. Oh yeah, when I get into fights, um, you know, when I when I did date girls and go to bars <laughs> and guys would like hit on them, I'm like, hey buddy. And then, and then they, they'd be so intimate because I'm so good at finger wiggling. And they would try to do it back and they'd be like, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I'm better at it than you. <laughs> Got him. Stop appropriating masculine culture. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Renee is going to blow up the pump. Yeah. But Schist stops him. He's like, I got you. Don't blow up my pump. Which, by the way, like, why didn't Renee, like, blow it up any time before this? It seems like he's had a lot of time. He could have went and just blown this thing up. Because he has to get the thing in the right position in order to blow it up. Because... Oil rigs cost a lot of money, Tony. And of course, because of capitalism, yes. you do not want to blow up the rigs. Mm. Cause they, it's a lot of, there's a lot of oil potential. They already got oil from there. So they already have a rig that's working. Why mm. would they want to blow it up? I know. Well, Renee wants to blow it up. Yes, he does. But he could have blown it up way earlier. I don't know why he waited till that night to blow it up. But anyway, uh, Schist admits that he killed Ted and buried him under the rig. And that's the body that the swamp spirit protector possessed to become man thing. He's so rude. Yes, he's very rude. <laughs> uh, and then Shiss shoots Ryan or Renee and Kyle. Kyle's got Rightfully. like a huge open gaping wound in his shoulder. And like for the rest of the movie, he's just like, eh. D uh, it's just a scratch. Yes, he's not good at... Kyle is not a convincing, like... He, the actor, I don't think, ever, like, shot a gun or knew how to shot a gun, shoot a gun. I don't know. His shooting just didn't seem accurate. You didn't see any recoil on his gun? No, he's just like... He, 
He just like was like that, or like did yeah. he have against like his shoulder or whatever? Like you're <sighs> properly supposed to do when you hold a gun. I don't know, but but man, thing shows up, and he stabs Schist. But not just that. He puts his hand in the oil drum and he pumps Schist full of oil until he's vomiting oil out of his oh, body. It's really gruesome. It's just like a bunch of black sludge and it's like, oh, this is, I feel like it's like even more gruesome just like with the blood. Also, his eyes pop out. Yeah. Too, and like they burst. It's gross. It is like, it's really convincing. I, I had to not watch the screen when yes. I watched Yes, and then this. Renee blows up the oil rig the man thing absorbs the fire and then goes back into the nexus of realities. Okay, so when I saw that scene, I was like, okay, so he absorbed the blast mm. and then he went down under, like, is he damaged or something? I think it's just the oil thing was done. The bad guys are dead. He okay. can go back and rest. Okay, I'm glad he's resting. It, yeah. he's uh, He deserves the sweet release of death. Mm hmm. And he's just like, I'm going to rest. Let me know when you need me to come back for another man thing movie. And then I guess they were like, hey, it's not a movie, but we have this thing called Disney Plus. And he's been asleep since 2005, so he doesn't know what that is. He's just like, what does Disney have to do with Marvel? So <laughs> that's if he is in Werewolf by Night, which I don't know if he is. We, it's not out yet at the time of this recording. You know, there's a comic book where he does do a, a combination. Ooh. It's a collab with Ooh. with him, and nice. in the collab, he he goes, he turns. It's not like he turns into a tree mm. every full moon, and then when he's not a tree during the full moon, then he's a werewolf. Oh, yes, it's weird. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it's I real. do believe he crossed over with Howard the Duck. He turned to a duck. No, no, no. I think I mean like he's been in comics with Howard the Duck, and I have a bunch of Howard the Duck comics. I'd have to go through them again and see oh. if Man Thing is in them. Uh, because yeah, seventies that would have been like. What is that sound? It's That's Man Thing. Man Thing is he's vacuuming, vacuuming somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'd have to check my Howard the Duck comics to see if Man Thing is in there because I'm trying to think. I'm like, have I read a Man Thing comic or a comic with Man Thing in it? And if I did, it would have been one of the Howard the Ducks that I have. Okay. But anyway, the Man Thing movie. Now, uh, comic book aside, however accurate it is, if we're just going based on a creature feature monster movie, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think so either. I think it's shot really well. I think the effects are very good. Also, the color I should mention, because I'm green. an artist, by the way. Yes. So I have authority on this. Yes. Uh, it's mostly... Uh, one color, uh, definitely during the, the swamp scenes, it's mostly green because, you know, it's a swamp. There's not really much color variation. It's, it's to establish some sort of creepiness vibe, especially, and also the yellow, that one yeah, scene with the filter. yellow, yellow filter is some unease because it's, mm -hmm. it's also supposed to be in the desert. That's mm -hmm. mostly what it's supposed to be used well, for. Yeah, I guess so. I yeah, mean, it's a good tone. By too. the way, yellow coloring doesn't exist in real life, so you can put it wherever you want, really. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah, but specifically within the films, just just tone tonally of the film, whatever is yellow is good to establish some tension, mm -hmm. which it does because that scene is tense that the yellow is used in. And it's pretty rad. There's a lot of just green. The, this movie is very green because mm -hmm. of nature. Yes, because of nature. Ex specifically because of nature. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Ben. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a fun creature feature. I think the only thing that holds it back is the acting. The acting is really yeah. weak. It's really weak. The story is a little generic. But not nah, it's like like I've I've seen something like this before, but I think it works. It's formulaic, but it works. It's really just the acting that kills it for Man, me. Man, I really like their attempts at having a southern accent and then the yeah. Aussie accent just slips through just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, not exactly. just a little bit, a lot. And just then a it comes lot. back to uh depending on what words they're saying. Yeah. Uh, southern, southern. 
or uh, Aussie. Aussie. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think I was expecting like a real bad movie. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, this isn't the worst monster movie I've ever seen. It's, it's sure as shit not the worst movie that takes place in a swamp I've ever seen. I've seen worse. <laughs> uh, oh, but, boy. but yeah, no, I, I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. I'm probably not going to watch it again. I enjoyed it too. Yeah, it I was, wouldn't show it to anyone else though. Of course, it was in that weird era of Marvel where they were starting to figure out their movies. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? The... Now that you mentioned early Marvel, I was thinking of the Hulk 2003, which I reviewed, and you reviewed, and we did a commentary. Yeah, track we did, and also, and you reviewed it. I did that too, but also I was uh, the, the scene transitions mm -hmm. very much reminded me of Hulk 2003, except for they weren't as like druggy, but they oh, were they were like, like the, there was a lot of like quick cuts and quick cuts, unique editing, frantic loud editing. noises, yeah, like screechy. I was like, oh, okay, we're in yeah. a scene transition now. Okay, yeah. honestly, it's just the acting that kills the movie for me. Yeah. That doesn't even kill the movie for me. I can kind of get over it. It's fun. It's a yeah, fun it's, watch. It's fine and fun. Yes, or fun and fine, as we say. Yeah, I'd say definitely check it out. I mean, it's streaming free right now. Disney's never going to release it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, Lionsgate probably will. But yeah, I remember hearing it was like way worse than it actually was. Hmm. Um, yeah, it, it's a it's a interesting curiosity. Around this time, they were like doing like the Blade TV show, like okay. weird shit like that. Um, but yeah, it's a self-contained creature feature. It's okay. I, I mean, agree. I'm sure fans of the comics disagree or agree i don't know uh, as a fan as the ultimate authority of yes. the comics uh i agree cool cool anyway that was man thing the forgotten marvel horror film do you like man thing did I you do. like this movie did you watch this movie knowing what the hell the comics were or or are you a comic fan who didn't like the movie let us know Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out a lot of our other videos. Been doing fun little bonus videos on Thursdays. Ooh. This movie is streaming on Tubi. And I do have a show that I do occasionally called Tubi Tuesdays, where we watch just a weird movie we found. Not just on Tubi, just any free streaming mm. platform. I okay. will cover it. Tubi is just the big one. And it's like a fun. Name. Alliteration. Sure. Uh, and then it's streaming on there currently. So check out Patreon or become a YouTube channel member. Everything at the $2 patron tier is available for YouTube channel members. Okay, that's fine. If you want to go higher, you got to go to Patreon. I don't know how to split the commentary tracks and exclusive tracks. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. You boomer. <sighs> sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so check all of that out. Mint, where can we find you? Uh, daily movie reviews at youtube.com slash ASC presents uh, patreon.com slash ASC presents and you can also check out my f yeah, link tree wow well, you're what wow well, you got censored there for a second did you are you describing some kind of uh, website that young people shouldn't go to oh yeah it, it, I don't know if it'll be here or not but if it is here go here You'll is that a like, link tree? Yeah, it's a link tree. Slash That's okay. And salad. Link trees are okay. Okay, well, there will be a link tree with a linktree.com slash titsman salad. Because, you know, tits. Been salad. Because I'm in salad and I have the tits. Anyway, steer clear of crocodiles. And gators. Or ga no, it was gators. Sorry. Steer clear of alligators. Uh, because they are responsible for all and all deaths. Yes, they are. And I'll tell you why. Yes. Well, subscribe to Mint Salad. Uh, follow our socials and everything. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Adios. This movie is better than like the last five MCU things I watched. I disagree. They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Yeah. Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're oh. wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha is like Star Wars in the like, Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s, but really grew in the 90s. Yeah.
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.